All right, so let's try to have a look at what number series are all about. So if we go uh, to our customers area, area here and click new customer uh, and click enter here, nav will not give us the next number in a row. So we, are, we actually have to type in the number ourselves. But um, several places in nav, it, it, it's really convenient if you get uh, nav to assign the next number in a number series. That applies to invoices, uh, customers, and many other places. So if we would want nav to actually give us the next number uh, in a row here, we would have to define a number series. So let's try to have a look at that. So first you have to create the, the number series, and then you have to um, indicate where this number series is supposed to be used. So let's first try to create the number series. So you write number series and you choose this one and we get get to, or we come to the number series window so let's try let's call this number series the one that we're going to be using for our customers uh, it would be um, fair to call this uh, CUST and in the description we can call it customers simply um, then just uh, go up and down here um, to insert the record Next, you have to indicate what the starting number should be and what the ending number is. So you click in the starting number uh, field and you don't have to specify a starting date. So this line will be used um, for any period of time. Um, so starting number uh, could, for example, be customer or CUST 00001. And then we'll go with ending number CUST. 99999. So the, the number series has to match in its, in its logic, uh, which is the case here. So we go up and down to insert the record and say OK. So now we've created the, the, the number series. So next we need to indicate where to use it. Actually, before we do that, let me just um, show you two um, check marks which uh, need to be set. So the first one we need to set is this one, default num uh, numbers. This is really important because otherwise, otherwise the number series will not work. So we have to set this one. And if you want to allow the user to also input manual numbers, um, if they feel like it, you can also put a check mark here. So let's just do that. So now we've created the number series. Next, we have to tell nav where to use this number series because we still haven't indicated that it should be used for customers. So we have to go to the, say in this case, we have to go to the sales and receivables setup. Here. And if we go down here to the numbering tab, we'll see uh, a whole bunch of uh, different um, situations where we can use a number series. So we wanted to use it for our customers so we're going to put it in here and um, click out of that field and now it's set up. Okay so if we go back to our customers now and we create a say new customer and we click enter it will give us the first uh, number in a row.